Classical college education was designed to produce a particular kind of leader, a balanced, thoughtful, engaged leader who can help society. Every student is an individual human soul created by God. And we want to honor that by giving individualized instruction in writing, in research, in the thought projects that they're gonna start in college and continue for the rest of their lives, asking major questions like, who am I? Who is God? What is the church? What does it mean to seek a life of wisdom and virtue and joy? Before I came to St. Augustine College, I taught for 10 years writing classes where I had a total of 100 students a semester, and I actually decided I was done teaching that way. Here at St. Constantine, though, when you have the one-on-one -on -one work, students improve so much faster. And the final thesis papers that I've seen here are graduate level work. Every student writes in such a different way. You can't teach a lecture to that. You need the one-on-one -on -one tutorial where things can be tailored to the students and where other life circumstances can be taken into account so that the mentoring becomes a really important element. I've never seen students improve like this before. This is the only way I can think to teach writing. What we do here is, is something quite different. As an Orthodox Christian school, we do what we do here in order to engage with the world that we live in, but to do so from a place of strength, from a place of discernment, from a place of wonder. What is true? What is good? What is beautiful? Can virtue be taught? These are the kinds of questions that help us turn to a vision, a loving vision of that which is. And that's the foundation of our core curriculum here. Think of American culture as the Empire State Building. There were two ways to appreciate the Empire State Building. The first way is to get inside that elevator, ride to the top, step out onto the roof, and look out over the city from this amazing vantage point. That is sort of analogous to immersing ourselves in our relevant contemporary American culture. But the other way to appreciate the Empire State Building would be to go downwards, to go into the ground and to try to understand what are the engineering principles that had to be placed there in order for the building to be able to stand as it does. We want our students to understand the foundational thoughts, principles, ideas that went into our contemporary American culture. And that's what we're doing with the Great Texts program here at St. Constantine College, is providing students with that foundation. We wanted to have a college program that prioritized having small classes, keeping things affordable, and keeping things personal so students can get the most out of college. I've been a student at the St. Constantine School since I was in seventh grade. So when it came time to look for a college in my junior and senior year, I was looking for a place that wouldn't put me in student debt and that held the same pursuits of beauty, truth, and goodness that I had come to appreciate. That's why I go to St. Constantine College. The community at St. Constantine is focused on loving each other well. Living in a community where you know you can go home and be with people that understand you and are going through very similar things. It's a really good opportunity to shape our whole perspective, not just in the class and what we think academically, but what we think personally and how we relate to one another. Community dinner is not just about making a meal and eating together. It's preparing a meal intentionally for the people that live in your home and getting a chance to love and serve them through that. I've not gotten that opportunity in other places. The tradition of mentoring as education came to us both from Athens, secular Athens, pagan Athens, through people like Socrates, and then through the Christian faith, following the model of the Lord Jesus Christ with his disciples, and produced something so new, good, true, and beautiful that it created modern science, it produced the Industrial Revolution, and it created the modern university. The mind is not a vessel that it is meant to be filled but rather kindling that is to be ignited. Our students are not waiting for us to give them every good and perfect idea. They are ready to be ignited. They are ready to be drawn into this engagement, into the great conversation. And that's what we seek to do here at St. Constantine.